everyone, Mr. Kaczynski, working on what at the time of this recording is a brand new skill in IXL's 8th grade math section Q, and that is side lengths and angle measures of similar triangles. Not a lot going on here. First couple examples, finding uh, angle measures. So we've got these two triangles, and it says if they're similar, what's the measure of the missing angle? So remember that similar triangles have um, three pairs of corresponding congruent angles. So if I just trace this angle real quick, or trace this triangle real quick, and then you think about this blue triangle as uh, if we rotate it and then translate it, you can see which angles match up. Okay, actually all three angles, pairs of corresponding angles are congruent bottom one's congruent, the top one's congruent, we would just need to do a dilation of it. But the question is, what's that original one? Well, if we go back, we can see that that angle is 116 degrees. So it's this angle right here that corresponds with this angle. So 116 degrees is the missing angle. Obviously, you can't move shapes around like that on your screen probably, but you can kind of imagine it. All right, so let's think about it again. We've got this triangle where we know all the angles and the other one where we don't know any of the angles, but we are told they're similar. That means all three angles on the smaller triangle will match all three angles on the bigger one. So there's that one. See, that one's the same size, and this one's the important one that we want. That's the same size. So which one is that? That's that 33-degree angle up at the top, right? Yep. So that's our missing angle, 33 degrees. All right, enough of that. I think you'll fly through those. Let's do some finding missing sides. All right, so here's what I'm looking at. This side, we're trying to figure out K, and we don't know it, but it does correspond to this side over here. I think we can see that pretty clearly. So K matches with two. So we're gonna say that they're proportional to each other. And we do know these two sides as well, three, corresponds to 1. 3 corresponds to 1. So this reads k is to 2 as 3 is to 1. And then we can solve this using scale factors. 1 times 2 is 2. So if we do the same thing with 3, uh, 3 times 2 will give us k. And k is 3 times 2 is 6 meters. Let's do um, something with a little bit more difficult numbers here. This one also shrinks from the blue to the green, it shrinks. Okay, so again, let's focus on this side here that we're trying to figure out, C, and its corresponding side over here is 30. So we'll say C is to 30 as, and then we'll go back over to the original triangle here with C on it, 15 is to 25. <clears throat> Okay, now we got to figure out a scale factor, okay? How do you turn um, 25 into 30? You multiply it by 1.2. So 30 divided by 25 is 1.2. Um, and then we'll just take 15 times 1.2 as well. And that'll give us C, and C is 18. as in 18 inches. All right, these two shapes are similar. Find the missing side of S here. Okay, well, S is this side, and I believe it corresponds with this 36 centimeters over here. So we'll say S is to 36 as, and then we'll grab two other sides here, 63 corresponds to the 28. 63 is to 28. <clears throat> so 28 times something equals 36. What if I do 36 divided by 28? That gives me, oh boy, a really ugly number. Um, we can also do it this way. Let's do it this way instead. Let's go that 63 divided by 28 is 2.25. 
So 28 times 2.25 is 63. So I could do 36 times uh, 2.25 will give me the value of S. So what is 36 times 2.25? That would be 81. So S is 81 centimeters. All right. So using proportions to find missing sides, and we're also finding missing angles, knowing that similar triangles have three pairs of corresponding angles. Good luck to you.